Well, boys, we're back in the dyno room. We got the Gen 2 Z Force 950, and we have done war bow slap out. Old Bo Moto has done made as much power for us as he could, and he's taking a break. But hey, let's get to this tune. We're going to show you the tune for the Z Force 950 Sport, the Gen 2 model. We're excited about it. I know a lot of you've been waiting on it. We're going to fire up. We're going to talk about the stock run versus the tune run. So let's get into it. Dave's been tuning this thing for a while. We've been running this thing, putting in a lot of time. We flashed it back stock because uh, we wanted you to be able to hear it and see it run stock. That way we can show you today's stock numbers and then we'll run it with the Team MSC tune and show you what the Gen 2 Z Force 950 Sport can do. We do have our dyno tires on it and we, we're not running our the OEM stock tires. So you're definitely going to get a different reading. If you know anything about dynos, you know the flex in the knobbies. I mean, that's taking away and absorbing power. So we can get consistent runs, consistent numbers. As long as we start with this, with the stock runs, we can get good, consistent data, leave those jokers on, do all of our tuning. And that way we can produce a good, consistent, repeatable tune every single time. We got the stock OEM CF Moto Tune in it. We're about to fire it up. We've already been running it some today, getting her warmed up, getting the dyno warmed up. Now we're just gonna show you what a stock run looks like. All right, so now that you've seen a couple of stock runs, uh, Dave is going in, flashing it back to the Team MSC tune that he's been working on for so long. And you're about to get to see this bad boy rip. And then we'll put the numbers up on the screen and show you the differences between the stock run and the Team MSC tune. All right, boys, let's take a look at this. Dave has got the uh, Team MSC tune and the stock tune runs up on the screen. Dave, looks pretty impressive, man. Yeah, yeah we're looking at a four horsepower gain there. 82 horsepower for the Team MSC tune. That's 82 to the wheel. That's with our dyno tires, okay? So we're not running the Dobby tires because it's, you know, adds a lot of drag. Again, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, those of you that don't understand the difference between horsepower rated at the crank, right? So if you look, those of you that, you know, keep up with the spec sheets from the manufacturers, they always rate the horsepower, Polaris, Honda, Can-Am, you know, all the above, CF Moto, Kawasaki, they rate the horsepower at the crank, okay? But then that power has to get through the drive line, okay, through your clutches on your CVT, through the axles, the, the, your diff, all the way out to your tires, and then it's got to apply it to this drum. It takes that power to turn the drum, and, uh, but that's what you're going to actually feel at the seat of the pants. That's what you're going to feel behind the wheel. So we've used dyno tires. That way we get a consistent reading. So immediately before we put the unit up on the dyno to get our stock runs like you saw a while ago, we go ahead and put these dyno tires on. That way we get a good, consistent, and repeatable number every single time. 
and then we leave those on throughout the duration of the testing of the tune. That way we get we can compare apples to apples and we can get you a good, consistent, repeatable tune. So the power that the, the numbers you're about to see are rated at the the drum, at the tire, and that's what you actually feel behind the wheel. Enough of me rambling, <laughs> Mr. Dave. Tell me a little bit about this tune. Tell the people uh, what they can experience, some of the things you worked on. Uh, I, I know there's a lot to it with the smoothness and just adjusting the map there, the AFRs, all kinds of stuff that you were able to do. So. Right. Yeah, this one was a little aggravating. It was hard to get power out of this one. It really runs, you know, good from the start. Uh, so a lot of timing adjustments, a lot of uh, air fuel ratio adjustments, and uh, wasn't a lot to be done with the torque tables on it. Uh, as far as picking up with it, but it turned out real good, especially through the, the mid-range. It picked up power from the start all the way to the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. And big numbers in the mid-range. That's more than, right. More than we expected as we started tuning this unit. Yeah. Like we always say, there's going to be lots of gains out of it, other than just how much more power we picked up. So, of right. course, we, we, we are buying power. We, we want the power. Uh, but it's going to be smoother. It's going to run cooler because now it's got the air-fuel ratio. Uh, corrected on it and running where it needs to be. Richer is cooler, leaner is hotter. So we want some fuel in there. Sometimes we want a little more fuel in there than it even needs to be at peak power just to keep it cool. That's right. Um, so that that's what we're looking for. Also, richer, cooler is also smoother. Uh, lean revs up high but doesn't have the power to back it up. Uh, yeah. So lots of gains uh, all the way around other than just our peak power, stuff you is kind of behind the scenes that that you don't necessarily see on the dyno sheet that everybody wants to look at. So uh, very impressed with it, very good tune. Uh, gonna see a lot of gains and definitely worth purchasing uh, this tune for this unit. So uh, yeah. we're, we're proud of it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about it. And of course, guys, the, bent, the drivability like Dave is talking about, when you get this thing out on the trails, when you're out there climbing hills, whatever it is that you enjoy doing in your Gen 2 Z Force 950 Sport. It's just going to make the driving experience even better. And like Dave said, the reason he said it was kind of aggravating to begin with is CF Moto, man, they're do, they do a good job out of the box, they, they right? Really they're getting better. Yeah, better. yeah. And so, but <laughs> we always, we like that. We like a challenge and we like to be able to go in because we always know there's more left on the table. And that's what we go for. That's what Dave spends all his time in here trying his best to get good, repeatable, safe, uh, smoother power and get everything we can get out of this Z Force 950 Sport without having to do any actual physical engine mods, uh, exhaust, intake work, and all that stuff. So if you want to optimize your Gen 2 Z Force 950 Sport, if you want to see that four horsepower gain, you want to see that acceleration, the smoother power delivery throughout the entirety of the driving experience from low range to mid range to top end, then you need to get this Team MSC tune. All right, everybody, we're in low gear sport mode. We flashed it back to stock. So this has the stock ECU tune on it, in it. We're going to check the, you know, see what the speed range is in low gear uh, with the stock tune then we'll run to high and see what the top speed is now keep in mind that these numbers are going to vary depend upon what if you have a windshield uh, if you have two riders how big the drivers are if you're running stock tires or your air pressure all that kind of stuff but anyways with this one we'll be able to show you the difference between the tune and the stock on this particular machine really is 35 and 36 so like I said your numbers may vary now let's go to high gear wind it out see what our top speed is now we have the team MSC tune in it we're in sport mode low gear Let's see what it'll wind out at. All right, 
So you easily got four mile per hour gain on the bottom end or low low gear rather. Now let's see what we can get in high gear. and I don't have much road to do that so uh, 84 miles an hour with the, with the tune and of course your your particular uh, setup may vary depending on weight of driver and windshield and all that stuff but anyways four mile per hour gain in low gear and high gear now, let's go back to the dyno run. Dave is gonna show you uh, how to access your ECU, and it's actually behind the driver's seat. And so on the Gen 2 Z Force 950 Sport, uh, this is how you do it. So we're just gonna pull the seat forward. You got your lever in the front. Just reach under the bottom, pull up on it. There you go. Cause yeah, there's two rubber grommets back there that the bottom side's attached to. And right, then it just hooks over the hooks. top. That's right. Then just press these two tabs down, mess right out. Okay. And that's your ECU. It's got two 10 millimeters in the corners. Boom. And the ECU just comes out. And then uh, these are like cam locks. So basically, press in on this tab right here, and then the cam will cam over, and it'll actually push the plug right off. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, Don't try to jerk the plugs out. <laughs> right, for sure. Just press on that little tab, cam will cam over, and as you go down, it'll pull itself out right here. Yep, all right, yeah. Yeah, guys, y'all make sure you do that. That way you don't damage these pins. That's very important. Repeat the process. Be pushing down as you're camming it back and it'll lock into place. Boom. That's it. That's it, guys. And then you'll put your two bolts back in and put your cover on. So, yeah, uh, you'll have to take out your ECU to send it in to us. And look, guys, you don't have to worry about your machine being down because we have your ECU for weeks or months. I've heard some horror stories uh, where people send in their ECU somewhere else. And anyways, you ain't gotta worry about that with us here at Main Street Cycle with the Team MSC Tune. So you can go to teammscparts.com. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description of this video, okay? And it'll take you right to the uh, wh where you gotta go to purchase your tune. So you'll do that first and then uh, you'll get instructions on what to do, where to ship your ECU. You'll take it out, just like Dave showed you there. You'll carefully wrap it up, put it in a box, and you'll get that shipped to us. And as soon as we get our hands on it, Dave is gonna take care of it, gonna get it tuned as soon as possible, and then we express that joker right back out to you. So you're gonna get it really fast, and you're not gonna have to, you know, like I said, you're not gonna be down long at all. So don't let that be the reason you hesitate on purchasing the tune. 99% of the time, they go back out the next day. Sometimes they go back out the same day. That's right. Very That's seldom is there one or two that uh, we have to do this or that to that might take two days, three days. Yeah. But 99% go back out the next day or even the same day. Oh yeah, that's right. So super fast guys. That gives you the confidence to go ahead and purchase this tune. You're gonna love it. So many benefits, more than even just picking up four horsepower or more. You're gonna get a lot more benefits uh, in low range, high range, uh, RPM limits raised. AFRs, you're gonna be running smoother and cooler exhaust temps because of the AFR adjustment. So a lot of great things. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.